weather is favourable, I like to hop on a train and photograph a place of interest just a couple of hours from home. Now, this is walk number 18 in this series, and most of my previous productions have been done this way. Even places further afield, went by train by the way, it does work sometimes, featuring the Peak District, Yorkshire Dales and the Scottish Highlands amongst many other places. Now for this walk I took the train to Herm Bay, walking out to Reculver along the North Kent coast, but you need of course here in particular to pick a very good day and do some research first so you know what to expect. Travelling light, I took just the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark I camera and the 12 to 50 lens. Now this is not a pro lens and I don't think it's any longer in production, but it was a darn good lens and I took nothing else because I planned to do a long walk. So if you excuse me, I better uh, carry on looking at the map. Rakova is on the site of a Roman fort. The church of AD 669 was expanded in the 15th century but demolished in 1809. Today only two towers remain, which had spires, known as the Two Sisters and a 13th century chancel now in ruins. They are fascinating subjects, but the walk from Hearn Bay is also full of interest, making a perfect prelude for Reculva, soon glimpsed in the distance. Foreground interest is essential in landscape photography for adding the third dimension. Walking along the beach, there were plenty of opportunities featuring boats, rocks, and of course the sea itself. Micro Four Thirds offers extended depth of field, making overall sharpness easier to achieve. Whilst with a film camera, it was important to use a small aperture and the hyperfocal distance, Micro Four Thirds reduces that requirement. What remains of Reculver still offers many opportunities and under different lighting according to weather. I had a glorious sunny day, and certainly when you are travelling a distance, you have to accept whatever nature throws at you. Nevertheless, strong summer lighting gave me sufficient compositional variety, from classic shots with verticals corrected where necessary, to deliberate converging verticals giving an impression of height and features that are focal points framed by nearby walls. In Roman times there used to be a harbour, but the channel has silted and the cliffs upon which the church sits have eroded, leaving its ruins precariously close to the edge. To add variety to my walk, the return is made a little inland over higher ground with extensive views across the North Sea and back to Rakova. Again, with an open landscape, Foreground interest is important, even if it is an obliging cyclist with dog appearing at precisely the right moment. By the time I returned to Hearn Bay, the sun was much lower in the sky, an opportunity for against the light shots across the harbour. The light was still very strong, presenting a challenge because of the huge dynamic range. I am not convinced that I have successfully contained highlights and quite a bit of work was necessary in Lightroom to add life to the shadow areas. A quick visit to the gardens on the Esplanade were easier to manage before catching the train home.